We have had before election series of community dialogue and engagement to try to see how do we prevent violence if there are issues that are, are more prone to bring human rights violation, how do we engage with different local stakeholders to ensure that they don't happen. One of the things that the Commission has been very deliberate to do um, during this electioneering uh, monitoring cycle is um, very um, targeted and deliberate partnerships with key stakeholders that we deem are very critical in terms of accountability of human rights violations. So through these partnerships, both with state and non-state actors, we are able to quickly share information. We are able to refer the cases that come to our attention either through our monitors or through members of the public. And we are able to get um, you know, redress and action from the various uh, uh, duty bearers. We've been trying to build more women leadership to get into policy making table to make a difference. Uh, for the first time in Kenya in 2022, at least we have so many women coming uh, in this political space to show interest and vying for different political seats. Over time during post-election violence, different cases of violence are reported, but there's no particular attention that is paid to LGBTQ people. It has been amazing to see how people are showing up. It has been amazing to see queer people. One of the things we've come to appreciate is that the presence of the international community curtails any plans uh, to incite people against each other. What we've seen is that the investments made in partnerships and in preventive engagement and in dialogue over the past years and, and more intensively over the past months has really borne fruit. We've also been investing in establishing the linkages and the dialogue between different groups and I think it's been extremely important in particular for the justice and security sector actors to have a good dialogue with civil society and with grassroots movements to be able to build this trust and dialogue. Issues of, of prevention have been really at the forefront of our deployment through the early warning systems to ensure that the human rights were not violated. 